Am I doing this right? Hopefully I'm doing this right. Am I recording? Check, check, checkity, check. Double check. Cute. Woo! It's here! <laughs> The art within is here. The art within, you say, what is that? Well, let me tell you. Um, the art within is my brand new online course. I've mentioned it here before on YouTube, but it's my online course on unlocking the foundations of art. We go over the seven different line and curve types. We go over perspective, drawing exercises, composition, developing your style, color theory, composition. Did I say that? Um, and then also the neuroscience behind flow state, what it is and why it's imperative in every creative's art journey and beyond. Um, I have guest ex expert interviews on Dr. Lara Salyer, who's a who's an expert on burnout and flow state, um, talks about, about both of those things. I have meditation experts, breathwork experts to help you unlock your creative center. So the art within is a course that's going to help you master the foundations and use the science of flow state to unlock your inner artist and create your best original work. I have been spending the last six or so months pouring my body and my mind into this course, doing all the research. The research has actually been going on for many years for me because, um, I've just been interested in the topic of flow state and also interested in the topic of healing your mind and rewiring your brain through neuroplasticity. Um, I've done a lot of therapies like neurofeedback. I studied psychology in college and wanted to become a music therapist. And so it's converging my interests and background in psychology with art. And then also um, I've just in recent years become very well connected with uh, people who are in the like mindfulness space, meditation space, and a few doctors and nutritionists and stuff. And so we've brought them on it to the course. Um, in interview lessons, I have a meditation expert guiding us through a mind, body, and soul connection meditation uh, in the course, a breathwork guide showing us how to unlock our creative expression through opening our throat chakra in a breathwork, a specific style of breathwork. And then interviews with doctors and like talking about the neuroscience of flow state and what it is. So anyway, it's been so much work, lots of late nights, lots of just like major stress moments, but this course because it's been such a labor of love, it's lit, it is actually my favorite course that we've ever created. Um, and we've already gotten tons of feedback. So we opened registration to the everyone this morning, 9 a.m. on Wednesday, November 2nd, the day that I'm filming this, cello. Um, but last week we opened it to people who are on our wait list and they have been binging the course quite literally because they're addicted. <laughs> Rachel says, I was on the fence because of finances and habits of buying the thing and not doing the thing, but jumped in under the wire because I couldn't get it off my mind. And I'm so happy that I did. I was afraid I would spend the money and not follow through, but your course has drawn me in and I'm out already addicted. Samar Ankud, Jenna started the art within and already know this is exactly what I need at this very moment in my life. Only got up to Andrea's part. And that was such a welcome release of some of the feelings that have been weighing me down. You and your courses are a gift. Maureen Lake, MD, the sketching and shading in segment two is mind blowing. I'm spending days on it and taking my time. There is so much to learn. You can read more reviews on the sales page. I'm not gonna read them all, but there's, there's a few for you. I just wanna read you one more amazing, amazing testimonial. Kathy, so she sent us an email about her first, imp first impressions. Let's back up and said, this class is better than I ever imagined. I am so excited about the tools I'm learning. The tools are already assisting me to become the person I strive to be. The tools are not just for art, but for life. For Halloween, I created a simple sunflower costume. This is not something I would normally do. I believe your class assisted me and I had fun doing it with little or no stress. 
I'm seeing my attitude improve when I'm struggling with a loved one and my relationships are improving. I'm getting more in touch with who, with my own emotions and feelings so I can move through the anger or fear and end in a place of compassion and love. I am not yet at the painting portion, but I am loving the inward looking discovery portion. That's section one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy, if you're watching. And also to clarify, uh, is this an art course? Yes. However, it is much more than just an art course. It's much deeper. If, if you are not willing to do some really deep work, like addressing negative core beliefs, um, I have a certified hypnotherapist on who guides us through a tapping sequence and acupressure uh, tool from Chinese medicine um, that guides us through a sequence on perfectionism. We have daily thought journals and experiments on behavior and negative self-talk that arises when we're painting or drawing or doing whatever. That's in section one. Section two is all about the foundations. So I go over, let me find that. In section two, let me bust out the uh, actual sketchbook that I used while filming it so I can show you. And in my opinion, section two of the course is worth the price of the course alone. Um, it's none of the topics I cover in this course are covered on my YouTube or my Patreon. These are all addressing specific muscles in our hands and in our minds, quite frankly, in motor skills that we need in order to drop into flow state, which is the place where we're, our brain patterns are creating theta and alpha brain waves. That's similar to a deep hypnotic state or a deep like meditative state. It's also shown very well documented peer review studies show that theta brain waves, when we're producing theta brain waves, our brain is more plastic or neuroplasticity is more uh, prevalent in our brain. And so we're able to literally rewire our brain, restructure our brain when we are in these deep states where our brain is producing theta brain waves or frequencies. And this is what flow state is. And so flow state is quite literally healing. Um, and so I show you how to drop into flow state, but in order to get there, we discuss in section two, the seven different line types. We talk about horizontal lines and alignment in landscapes, portraits, human florals, whatever, perpendicular lines, vertical lines, parallel flowing lines, center lines. And one of my favorite things to talk about axis line. This is going to absolute, this will dude, number seven, line number seven alone will transform your flowers, transform your landscapes, transform your portraits like that. Guarantee it. It's crazy. Um, so that is one of the lessons going over lines. And then we also go over, let me get to it, shading techniques. And you might be like, well, why are we talking about shading techniques? Um, because understanding values and how to shade properly is very important no matter what medium you're working with, whether it's a pencil or a paintbrush, watercolor or oil, doesn't matter. And then we also talk about vantage point and um, perspective, one point perspective, two point perspective, and more um, how our perspective or point of view can be totally altered depending on where the subjects are in our landscapes and the story that we're telling with our perspective. So I talk about storytelling in your composition layout and perspectives for both floral landscapes, all of it. Um, there's a bunch of exercises that will get you to think outside of the box in terms of composition. So instead of just staring at a blank sheet of paper or needing to look at a photo for reference in order to paint something or draw something, getting you to think outside of the box to create like kind of almost like a knee jerk reaction of knowing what to do with composition through these exercises. So we go over S curve and balance and tipping point in much more depth than I've ever covered, uh, like crazy depth, um, using fun things. And that's just section two. There's four sections. Each section has at least one module in it. Let's do a little look through of the course, shall we? If you guys are interested, um, I'll do a little scroll through what the course actually looks like inside of it. Once you sign up and log into the course member area, uh, you have unlimited, unlimited access to the course for the lifetime of the course. Boop. For the lifetime of the course. 
So that's really cool. Um, you can go at your own pace. You can binge watch it right away or come back to it in six months, a year or whatever. My only uh, major ask of you, if you sign up for the course, is that you implement some sort of schedule to actually get into the course and work through it all. Um, the biggest disservice or miss that you can make with taking this course or signing up for this course is not actually following through and doing the work because the work, when, it, when you're able to put in the work that is available to you in this course, the guidance is available to you in this course, you will see results. You will see your art change. You will see your connection and alignment to your art, not only developing your style and like understanding the foundations of color theory, composition, everything that can just change the way you view the world, but it's also giving you the tools to create your best work on paper, but also off paper because flow state is this place where being in the zone is also something that it's called by athletes. You can be in flow state if whether you can be an athlete in flow state, you can be a musician, you can be a ceramicist, a singer or whatever, a uh, painter, it doesn't matter. Flow state is where you are completely, effort is completely effortless. Time is non-existent. You're zoned in on the task at hand and not worried. No mind chatter is present. There's no grocery list. There's no worries about tomorrow. There's no worries about the past or present. It's all present and just what is at hand, the task at hand. And also what's really cool about what's happening during the state of flow is that your brain is actually more pliable. It's dropping you into a place where it's neuroplastic. So your neuroplasticity, you're able to rewire your brain, change the way you think, change the way you behave uh, when integrated. So we also give you in the course ways to integrate the work that you do on and off paper when you're in these states of flow um, to help integrate and go deeper with with the work that you're doing. So through training that I've had um, in my background in psych psychology through cognitive behavioral therapy modalities and tools like a daily thought journal, behavioral experiments journal, and more. So we really dive deep in this course. A creative practice and an art practice is, in my opinion, something that should be way more imperative in everybody's life because it can absolutely change your creativity and what you create on paper and canvas, but also your life off canvas, off paper. It has a direct correlation. And so that's why we're taking in the course a more holistic approach to your art journey, your journey as an artist, a creative, whatever medium that is, it doesn't matter. Whatever level of art you're at, doesn't matter. You can be a beginner, completely brand new. You can be advanced, been painting for 40 years doesn't matter. It's such a wide approach because we're implementing tools like meditation or breath work that are helping you develop the skill of dropping into flow state as an artist through things like meditation, because they produce the same outcome. They, you, you produce alpha and theta waves when you're in meditation or when you're in a deep state of, uh, in breath work. And so if we implement these other modalities into our life, like meditation, mindfulness practice, awareness, breath work, et cetera, guess what? Our art's gonna improve because we're more present in our life. We're also uh, changing the way we think and we're also getting our brains familiar with this state of being in alpha and theta and in a deep flow with our art. So it's a very cool course. I'm so proud of it. Um, I would say this is my life's work. Um, I honestly don't even care how many people sign up because it's literally, to me, the, it, I mean, I've seen the personal, from personal experience, how much it's changed my life. And so even if, you know, one person, obviously more than one person has already signed up, so that's not possible. But if it only impacts one person's life, um, I'm proud of it because it is such an amazing tool. There are so many amazing experts that we interview that share. I mean, I was in goosebumps the majority of the time we were filming this course, goosebumps or on the verge of tears. And we even have a bunch of emails from students who signed up last week talking about how 
they feel like they're about to cry watching a lot of these videos. Because it's just such a welcome release. It's such a welcome feeling of alignment and connection. And so without further ado, let me show you inside the course, shall we? Inside the course, you will see that there are 50 video lessons um, ranging from topics on mindset to the foundations of shading, color, composition, style, and more. And then we move into flow state, the neuroscience behind flow state, interviews with Dr. Laura Sellier on flow state versus burnout, meditation and how to get into flow with Jessica Stone, breath work, activating your intuition, intuitive painting lessons, and so much more. Um, when you get into the course, when you log into the course, you're going to have course introduction videos that will tell you what kind of supplies you need and an outline of the course. And then as you go through, you'll notice some videos like this one, for example, on negative core beliefs. And this section has an interview lesson with certified hypnotherapist, Andrea, who walks us through a guided EFT acupressure sequence on perfectionism, which is going to help you adjust your mindset and get out of that perfectionism mindset. We also have in our foundation session section, section two, we have lines and curves, shading techniques, perspective, drawing exercises, brush stroke exercises, watercolor basics, color as a vi visual language, color matching, color combinations. We have color theory in here showing you how to use your brush, how to develop an eye for color, thumbnail sketches, which will give you an eye for and confidence for composition. We have tips for composition beyond uh, what was in the previous lesson. So the rule of thirds versus quadrants, what is balance and tipping point, what that means, where to place your horizon line. This is a great lesson on switching up your compositions and knowing where to put elements in your paintings. And then we have in the foundation section, the end of the foundation section, we have case studies and elements of style and developing your style, what it takes, flow state, mental training. So before you can create your best work, you need to learn how to drop into flow state. So if you don't know what flow state is, we describe what that is in this first lesson on flow state and the neuroscience behind flow state. I interview Dr. Lara Salyer, who is an expert on flow state and the opposite of flow, which is burnout. And then we also drop into tools and modalities that will help you develop the skill of dropping into flow state, like meditation, breath work, flow state drawing exercises, flow state writing exercises, and more. I have interviews with guest expert Jessica Stone on meditation, interview with guest expert expert Mary Buckingham, who is a breathwork guide and trained certified breathwork guide. We have interviews with Dr. Karina Hopin, who is a researcher on hope theory and how to open your heart um, in order to drop into flow state and create your best work from a heart-centered place. And then we also go through intuition, how to awaken your intuition, excavating, cultivating, maintaining your intuition, and drills to awaken your intuition so that you can rely on an intuitive place to help you know how to build confidence through your paintings and even off paper, how to build confidence off paper. So we go through that in there and if you need help dropping into flow state even after all of those videos we have a further troubleshooting section on circadian medicine with guest expert bastian grau we have charging your battery so love and coherence and how to affect the electromagnetic field of your heart tips for grounding uh, nutrition tips and more. And if that wasn't already enough, our resources section for the course has all the handouts that are involved in the course, like behavioral experiments handout, a daily thought journal, uh, links to all the supplies that I'm using in the course, my flow state playlist that'll help you drop into flow state uh, using the power of sound waves, painting playlist, further meditations and guided breathwork exercises that you can watch and download, highly recommended tools that I mentioned in the course for circadian, uh, circadian rhythm syncing, um, other podca podcasts that I love that help me drop into flow state and have learned more about flow state. 
other meditations and tools that I mentioned in the course, as well as books. So there you have it. It is so in depth and I hope to see you in the art within. And there you go, folks. I am so proud of this thing. It was a labor of love. I don't just create courses because it's fun because it's so much work. It's literally so much work creating and writing and research and designing the sales page and spell checking everything, uh, loading emails, writing emails, tons of emails, like so many emails, um, customer service questions, DMs, all of the work is for you guys. I do this for you guys. I wouldn't do this if I didn't believe in it because we would have feedback from people being the opposite of what we currently have. And it would be very negative. Like, why did you take my money for this? This is a waste of my time. It's a waste of my time too, if I create a course that I don't believe in 100%. Um, and so I'm bringing this to you on YouTube. Wanted to show it to you guys because you guys have been such a supportive community. You guys have been watching and dedicating your time to learning from me on this platform, learning watercolor, learning art things. And I know that this course will take you to the next step in your, not just in your art practice, in your creative practice, but in your life. Um, I'm not posing or trying to be anybody's therapist or anybody's doctor, that is absolutely not the case. I'm just sharing my own personal experience and my own history with my own life, my own traumas, my own dealing with PTSD, dealing with connecting with my art and not feeling aligned. And then seeing how that's transformed over the years and then also being able to see how that's transformed my students over the years, thousands of people that I've taught over the last 10 years. And then just connecting with people in, in uh, the wellness space or medical space or um, more spiritual space, hypnosis, all of it that can come together and bring a more holistic approach to deepening your art practice to guide it toward a soul level, an alignment level, a place of alignment. And that happens to help you also create your best artwork. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, Thank you for watching for this long. If you're still here, love ya. Um, I should probably go now and uh, it's launch day. So I've got so many messages to respond to and things to do, people to see. Um, but I really hope you check it out. JennaRainey.com forward slash the dash art dash within to check out, read about it a little bit more, see if it's right for you. Psst, it's right for everyone, it's for everyone. Not just saying that. Um, so check it out and I will see you in the next video.